today's session we are going to create a simple login page application by using spring boot and uh, java server pages and uh, we are using rest controller so this will be a simple web application development by using spring boot and uh, tomcat server by, with the uh, help of front end of as a jsp so we are not doing any fancy stuff just simple uh, uh, html using jsp and uh, the controllers uh, using the Tomcat servlet and Spring Boot application. Okay, so for this, I am using my blog so that is Simplifying Tech and Programming. So you can find it in the video description. So we are using the latest version of Spring Boot that is a 3.0.10, and uh, we are using the MVC pattern of uh, JSP as a view. So this sample application will look like this. So simple username, password, and uh, some validations and then uh, you will log in to the another page that is a welcome page and here there is a logout button that will be logged out to your login page so what you will learn so you will learn how to create the spring boot project from spring initializer then how what is the basic understanding of uh, working with the web applications for spring boot and how we can add the view components to spring boot as a jsp for the web application and uh, how we can build the basic login functionality and then how we can auto wire the components using spring boot okay so let's get started if you are aware about the old technique to create the web application then in eclipse like uh, we were able to find the web component that is a dynamic web project okay so by using this uh, uh, earlier like uh, web projects are getting created so earlier we have to provide the tomcat server externally and uh, we have to add the servers into our console so that's how it's uh, like a two tier application or three tier application where the business logic is uh, different server is a different and uh, ui components are written in a different way but by using spring boot uh, it will provide the inbuilt Tomcat container and it will, it will provide the inbuilt UI component support. So it will be a one application or one microservice where we can develop uh, UI components as well. So let's get started. So go to this uh, Spring IO. So here uh, select the project type as a Maven, then language as a Java version, Spring Boot version we are choosing as a 3.10, 0.10. Then uh, here we are your package name is a uh, anything com dot stick then packaging is a jar and uh, java version is a 17. so we need to add certain dependencies first is a spring web that is a spring web we required then uh, we required actuator in order to test rest endpoints and we required dev tools okay so let's say generate project okay so it is saved just extract and import this okay so it is extracted go to eclipse and uh, just say import projects let's just select existing maven project and give this path so it is identified from production let's import so it is imported so you can verify the project structure yeah so let's open this form.xml so in order to work with the web application so we need to provide the embedded tom embedded tomcat so like uh, we need to add this dependency externally so just go here you can verify the spring web then spring dev tools and start a test so just add it here okay so this is the tomcat embedded uh, so our project structure will be like this so we are creating a controller and service and then application properties and this uh, view structure so that i will come back later so now uh, just we need to add view resolver okay so what is a view resolver so we are creating web application so we need to tell spring boot that uh, this is the view prefix and this is the view suffix so what is the view prefix so web.inf web inf and jsp here uh, you can find the view related things and what is the format of view so that is a jsp so that will be your suffix here okay so just copy this and paste it into application dot properties to read to the spring boot what is the format of the views so we need to create this structure for uh, working with the web application development in for, for spring boot so let's create this structure so we need to just create uh, these uh, three folders like uh, inside the source main that is a web app web inf and jsp inside this we will put our jsps okay so go to source main here say folder create new folder and here you can type 
web app web web inf and jsp so it will create this structure yes that's it so you have created web app web inf and jsp so here we will put our jsp okay so now let's start with the jsp itself so we will create one uh, jsp so this is the simple uh, login page jsp where like uh, i just copy this so create new file called as a login dot jsp okay so let's here okay let's say control shift o in order to format this so what we are doing here so this is a html page where like uh, we are declaring header as a we are declaring one header and we are declaring one body inside the body our uh, main uh, view logic is there so at the center we are uh, typing this uh, welcome to spring boot and uh, here with the h2 that is a header annotation or header attribute to print the, uh, this content then uh, we are using this uh, error message suppose uh, like uh, not authorized to this application then uh, this uh, error message will be uh, sent from uh, controller so that will be printing into red color and uh, this is the font then we are writing one post method inside this post method we are adding three attributes that one is like a username one is password and one is a submit button and just we are separating the lines where uh, we are putting the this br to break the lines Okay, that's it so just we need to create one controller and uh, so over here say new class change the package to controller uh, give the annotation to controller okay so we are creating one method public string view login page and uh, okay and return whatever the login page name that is a login that's it and here sorry this stream will be like this and here we need to provide the model map like we are working with the uh, spring boot okay so what is model map so this is a model data for use of ui to support the generic calls or uh, generation of model names okay so in, in so basically what is model map so it will uh, act as a request and response of the spring boot in spring boot it is a request and response or like uh, in uh, old way of implementation that is a servlet request that kind of thing that will be replaced by this uh, model map in a better way okay so here we need to provide the request mapping so yeah so request mapping then uh, we need to provide the rest endpoint controller in sorry, rest endpoint so value equal to login and one more thing we need to provide that is a method name so what type of method we are using so method equal to request method dot get okay that's it so this will be a simple uh, like a showing for showing the login page so this is the controller so this is the like a, a basic controller class and uh, we have completed with the views also so let's try to verify if our basic login page is working so go to spring boot run class and uh, this say run as a java application okay so it is saying started spring boot application on 8080 port so let's verify this go to browser say localhost colon 8080 and login and say help enter that's it so we are able to see this uh, jsp page where uh, we have given this uh, uh, three input boxes and uh, this header okay so that we have given here okay so now this is this will be a static page so we need to add some logic in order to uh, like uh, work with this login implementation so for that we need to create another method let's create this method 
So in order to save time, I just like uh, copied this code. So I will explain what it is. So this is a, again, we are creating one more method that is a show welcome page. So after login, so we need to land to welcome page. So just we are, we are creating copy of this method. And uh, here we are giving the request method as a post because we are posting data to server, right? So here model map is the uh, same. What is the model map? That is a servlet request, we can say. And here the request param will be a name and password. So in the screen, we have a login page with the input of name and password. So here it is a request name and password. So let's import this. So these two are request params. Then uh, we are creating one method to validate the user. What is the username and password? And then if this validation fails, if this validation fails, then it will return to this uh, error page or uh, this will show this message access denied and if that request is success then uh, we will put that name and password to this model that is a solid request and we will return to our uh, next page that is a welcome page so now we need to verify our username and password so for this we need to create one uh, service class let's create one uh, service class so for that uh, go to this And here we just need to stop this. We just need to create this uh, method. Okay, so what we are doing here, so we are just validating the username and password. So if that user already, well, this is the sample demo username and password we are uh, verifying here for the demo purpose only. Okay, so this is a simple Java code. So come here, then uh, we need to call this service method right so we need to create the auto wiring for that service class so let's say auto wired and our class name let's import this okay we have we have to refactor this cr okay so now service is implemented so what will happen now so it will validate the user and uh, if it is success then uh, it will align to welcome page. So let's create the welcome page also. Welcome dot JSP. So now just welcome page JSP. So this this is a very simplest JSP. Okay. So we are just uh, this is the body. In body we are just welcoming this user. Welcome dollar name. So this dollar name will be dynamic. So that will be picked up from the request or model map. And uh, we are just uh, giving the href that is a link to log out. Okay. So we have to implement logout also so to implement the logout there is a one method logout so go to login controller and here it is a simple show logout page and uh, this is a request and we are returning to login page so if this rest endpoint from jsp so from this jsp this is the rest endpoint and from login page if we call this then just we have to return to login page that's it request method is great we are not posting anything so now let's save this so our everything is ready welcome page is also ready so let's run this application again in order to verify if this is working run as a java application okay so this application is started now let's verify into ui part let's hit again okay so it is landed to a login page so now let's enter the credential so this credential we have provided here give this admin and password and let's say submit that's it so we landed into next page that is a welcome page welcome admin and uh, spring boot login app example okay so this welcome admin spring boot login page example so that's that's how like uh, it will validate the user and it will land to next page. So suppose I, I hit on this logout. So again, it will come back to our login page. So our logout is also working. Okay. So now we have added some validations. Like uh, here in login controller, we have added one validation. So it will check for valid users only. So you can type another user. So it will validate. So, okay, so for validation, it is giving this error. So for this, we need to add the session attribute. So you can say 
session session attributes and we need to provide the okay that's it okay so just save this and run this application again okay so our spring boot started let's verify yes okay so now just enter anything and let's say submit so you are getting access denied invalid credentials okay and if i enter correct again so it will land to next page this is the log okay so this way to summarize this uh like uh, we learned how we can integrate jsp pages with the spring boot microservice and how we can create the web application by using latest version of spring boot and uh, login logout functionality how to auto wire the things how to redirect to any other page like this uh, web application development stuff we have learned today so you can download the source code on github page so a link is provided here and video description and stay tuned for uh, further interesting sessions and uh, thanks a lot for watching Thank you.